Happy Monday. How's everybody's Monday? Finally get to do Mask Monday. I'm excited. I had bought quite a few different masks, but I wanted to choose, I wanted to do this one for today. So I'm excited, my very first one. I've been waiting, um, trying to fit one in. It's been busy, but today is the day. So anyway, how was everybody's Monday? Definitely a Monday for me. Um, had been really busy at work, um, but Friday and my, Friday and today um, seemed like it really slowed down. So I got to get caught up on a lot of different things. So, which was very very nice. Enjoyed myself, that's for sure. This is the Superfood Twenty Four. Our hydration extra virgin olive oil sheet mask. Never. Um, I don't. I don't even know if I've ever done the mask before. This will actually be my very first one. It smells amazing. So let's see. And I also brought in this. Um, I also want to do this after I let this soak. I think this said. 10 to 15 minutes and then this you do there's three different um modes on here let me turn it on so there's the green mode the red and the blue and um you do it three minutes on the green two minutes on the red and two minutes on the blue so i wanted to give that a try today let me see how to do this. So, yeah, it says to leave on your face for 15 to 20 minutes. So, do I just get one mask? I think so. Let's see. I believe so. Yeah. Take these down and oh, feels good. Mm, reminds me of um, oh, what's that movie where he hunts people and he gets their skin? Texas Chainsaw Massacre. <laughs> That's what it reminds me of. Oh, feels so good though. It smells good. Let me rub that in. Make me a little mustache here. Mm. I'm sure my skin needs this. That's for sure. I'm excited. I did order some lighting for the um, office here. And um, I ordered a makeup mirror, a lighted makeup mirror. So I'm excited to get that in. Get uh, better at doing this, that's for sure. Oh, just can't get over the smell of this. There we go. Don't want to eat it, that's for sure. Mm. Rub that in. Okay, so we got 20 minutes. Rub some in my elbows. Usually in the summer, my elbows get so dry and dry skin on there. I always try to keep them moisturized. I wish I would have brought my other phone in here. I can time this. That's okay. Got my little timer on here. So we'll check back it. It is four minutes and 47 seconds now. So mm, that smells so good. So rub this in. I brought this to do this after. 
like I said, I think it's total about seven minutes. And then, I don't know if you guys remember, I hauled these little mascara tubes with the wands, and it's filled with um, castor oil. So I wanted to do my eyelashes. Um, my eye, I put some on my eyelids and on my eyebrows. And I really think it is working on my eyelashes because I don't hardly have any. And it seems like since I started using it, um, my eyelashes have gotten thicker. And I, it, it might be working. My eyebrows were so thin. I just plucked away at them a long time ago and they just never really grew back. So we'll see. Just keep using it. Be patient. So I want to put these on there um, as well. And the only thing I didn't think about is I probably should have seen if I could have got um, like amber tubes, darker tubes, because it is supposed to stay in a dark glass. So I don't know if I ruined it. If I put it on here, I haven't really looked, but we're still going to use it um, because they're in here. So, um, I do have another um, order coming in. It should be here um, probably the next couple of days. And then we went out to the property and it had been a while since I've been out there. Uh, we had to repair some of the fencing, the, um, um, what do I call it? It's the materials, like the netting that we have for privacy. It's like a privacy um, netting. Whenever um, we had the big storm out there, um, it had like just blew it to where the zip ties, we had a zip tie, the dip, zip ties broke. And um, so it was just flowing up. So I just went around. Um, the back side of the property and re-zip tied the back side of the fence so far. And then he wanted to scrape around the, um, the septic area and get that all situated and done. I want to get that um, all situated, I guess, on a, with a, construction loan with a manufacturer home here, everything has to be appraised before we order. So I guess they would know, I don't really know. It's gotta be appraised before, not like a stick built home that's appraised after. This one has to be appraised before. So they had to go out and um, evaluate our land, the property, and then we had to send them, we had to pick out which trailer we wanted with our upgrades. Um, we didn't pick out like colors or anything yet. We just mostly picked out the upgrades and different stuff that we wanted in there. Just to get a total on the price. Um, so that way they can um, compare the price of the land to the price of the home. Which we didn't go really expensive on the home just because we wanted to keep it affordable and um, any changes my husband can do. If you wanted to add um, tile or whatever in the bathrooms on the counters, um, he can do all of that. Keep it affordable. So anyway, we did that and just wanted to get it cleaned up before anybody went out there to do um, looking at anything. Um, I just couldn't believe how much it had grown the, with just the rain and everything. It, it was just really green out there. It was really pretty. So we decided we were going to um, buy a tractor and just scrape it all, scrape all the grass. But we decided to um, keep the grass and then we're just going to mow it. On my chin. So yeah, we're just gonna mow it and then put some weed killer and stuff out there. Maybe that will help with the mud. And then in 
I don't know if I showed the back of the property, but in the back of the property, there's some people that bought four acres and they're going to be raising like these um, real expensive horses. And I mean, it's just for them to put them out there. I want to see them. I don't remember the kind. Arabian, maybe? Um, so I'm anxious. They got a lot going on out there. They got the fence up out there. So we went and uh, while we were out the property, my grandson had came over because he was staying with my niece, which lives two streets over. And she had taken him to Tractor Supply and told him that he could pick out a chicken he could name it. It just has to stay at her house because my son and them live in town. And um, so he was all for it until he got the chicken and named it. <laughs> he wanted to take it home. He was upset. He couldn't take it home. He didn't want to leave it at her house. So him and my niece, um, JC, had come over to the property to ride his little electric um, scooter or bike. And um, she was, uh, Wyatt was talking about um, doing some videos. So now she wants to do a video with me. So that'd be fun. I like watching the kids. They get so excited doing the videos. You kind of need something you can put over it so it make sure it stays on your face. So yeah, Maya was excited to get his little chicken. Um, he bought a yellow chicken, which they said is when it grows, it will be white. I don't remember what kind she said it was. Um, so he's excited to have his little chicken. He named her Daisy. And they bought six chickens. They got three yellow chickens and three um, black chickens. And I don't know if the black chickens will stay black, um, but the yellow chickens will all turn white. And um, they were all picking out names. Uh, one of them, one of the other yellow chickens, they named her Summer. Wyatt's was named Daisy. Um, the other one didn't have a name. And uh, the youngest niece, she had named her too. She has two black ones and I cannot remember uh, what they were called, but you know, they were really cute names. But it's it's exciting to see the kids be excited to have animals and to take care of animals. So I told Wyatt once we get out there, he can get some chickens and keep them at Nana's house. And my niece's next door neighbor, they um, they have emu emus. Emus, I don't know how to pronounce them, but um, yeah, they're curious little things. We go back to the back of her property. She has um, three goats and two horses and a pony. And when we're back there, those emus, they come right up to the fence and they just want to know what everybody's doing. I'm sorry, they are alpacas. That's what they have. They have alpacas. Oh my God, they're just the cutest things. Um, so far, they've been sweet. Um, I heard that they can spit on you, um, but every time I've been over there, they haven't done anything like that. They've been really nice. They do also raise baby goats, but they're the real tiny goats. Um, pygmy goats, maybe? I'm not sure. And then they have chickens. I don't think they have any horses. I think they're just mostly goats, alpacas. And some chickens I think I've seen out there. Um, there's a couple houses down. They raise different pigs. Um, and so every time you go out, when we go out there, you just hear all kinds of, all sorts of uh, livestock out there. It's real nice. About 10, 10 minutes down. I'm glad this work day's over. When it's slow, it just makes my day go by. It just seems like it drags on and drags on. Oh, 
Well, if I can take a drink. We had seen, um, my husband had, oh, in the video, if you guys go back and look, we have this older quad and he had uh, put the steel plate in the front of it so he could drag the property. And um, so when we decided, because he was just going to drag the property as much as he could, and then we were going to rent a, uh, a tractor and just pull up all the grass, just scrape it. Then we decided to keep it, and then he wanted to go buy a riding lawnmower. Lots of different kinds. I was just really surprised. Um, we looked at Craftsman ones yesterday, and mm, trying to think of some of these names. I can't remember some of the names, but... Um, I think he is now, just since looking at them and seeing all the different varieties, he is now um, leaning more towards a uh, zero turn uh, mower. So we're going to start looking for that pretty soon. Hmm. Rub it. Yeah. I think one thing I wish now that I'm getting older that I would have learned more about taking better care of my skin when I was a little bit younger and been more interested in makeup. I went through my phase when I was a teenager, I think in my early 20s, where I wanted to wear a lot of makeup and stuff, but getting old, I don't, I don't know. I just never been into a lot of makeup and I wished I would have uh, learned more. I think that's some of the stuff I'm going to do. I want to learn how to um, put on my makeup better now. It seems like with the maturing skin, my makeup that I buy doesn't look the same. So I want to, I don't know, maybe relearn how to put on my makeup. Um, different skin cares, different moisturizers, um, better things to use. That's one thing I do want to learn and practice more with. That's why I bought the um, lighted mirror. Um, I want to get some stuff. There's a, a YouTube channel. Her name is Zabrina. She is great. Um, she goes through different skincare products, different makeup brands, um, brushes. The only, I really only use brushes for my eye shadow and my, um, blushes. Other than that, I don't use the makeup sponges. Um, I use my fingers. So, um, she shows you different techniques and different brushes to use. And so I have been watching her. I really like her. And it's Sabrina with a Z. So um, keep watching her and try different things. Okay, I think only a couple more minutes. Oh my goodness, just doesn't want to stay on. I think when I was in school, we were more worried about what our hair looked like. We've got to have high hair with the bangs and the high hair. Oh, and really thick eyeliner. I do remember doing that. Went through the eyeliner phase and then uh, the lip liner phase where you had to make sure you had the lip liner going. But, um... I think after high school, I really wasn't into makeup a lot until I got divorced. And then, uh, whenever you're dating again, I think I was more uh, trying to make sure I had the makeup on and stuff like that. But I never really was really big into skincare until, the, you know, probably about a year ago. 
or two years ago. I did sell, oh gosh, I did sell this, um, it started out a skincare company called Beauty Control, and I loved their, I loved their skincare. And that probably got me into some skincare, but I wasn't like diligent with it. Um, and that was probably seven years ago um, that I did that. They did get into selling makeup. Um, I don't think their makeup was as good as their skincare. I really like their skincare a lot. Uh, same with Mary Kay. I like their makeup, um, but I don't really like their skincare. I think Mary Kay's, my favorite thing for Mary Kay was their um, makeup remover. I love that. Um, right now, my favorite makeup remover is from a company called Pharmacy. Um, cheap, affordable skincare, affordable makeup. It's really good. Most of their makeup is scented. Um, so if you don't like the scented stuff, um, I don't know that you would like it, but I really like it. Um, but yeah, I did the Mary Kay thing for probably two years. And um, I did pretty good. I made money on it. Um, but I did, I think, that is when I did start wearing, using the skincare. I did that for about two years. Then the company um, went out of business. They didn't do it anymore. They were actually, their, I guess they call it a mother company, was Tupperware. And then they started Beauty Control. And um, they just shut it off and said they didn't see, I guess, a profit with it, but their skincare. I absolutely love their skincare. Um, and so I think after that, I never really did a lot of skincare. My sister, she started selling pharmacy, and um, I like their skincare. Um, but I wasn't faithful at buying it. I would just go pick up stuff. And then about a year ago, I did start buying... Um, different types of skincare, um, facial exfoliators, um, lip, um, lip pills. I really like those. Um, so anyway, I want to get into this and, uh, start taking better care of my skin. Hopefully it's not too late. So this is drying out. So I think we're good with that. Okay. So it's been about 15 minutes. We'll take it off. Oh, it feels really good though. We're gonna rub some more in. And we're going to use this. I'm gonna start out with um, the green one. And the green one you use for three minutes. So we are at 23 minutes and it feels really good. It only comes on and vibrates when you press it against your skin. And the one reason I got this is because I'm losing the weight. My skin is getting a lot of wrinkles on my neck. I don't, I don't want that. So. And they say with this, always go up. Um, I haven't used this every day. I probably should. going up and down because I don't think I'm supposed to. I think I lift it up and go down. I was trying to find some videos today on YouTube, but I haven't been very successful at finding that yet. That feels good though. On 
TikTok I seen a girl. Um, I think, I don't think hers has the, the lights. It's just a massager and she used it on her neck, just her neck, half of it for one week and not on the other. And you can really tell the difference. Makes me wonder. It doesn't go like that. Okay. Go ahead. We'll do one more round. And then we'll switch to red. It's starting to dry out. Alright, let's switch to red. Oh, yeah. difference when your face is moisture got moisture on it probably should have brought some lotion in here but I did it that's good I have been looking and eyeballing the um, ice roller for your face. I want to try that. See, I think one of my next team orders, I'm going to order um, just makeup and Care. I'm gonna see if I can find um, some recommendations and just try them out. Let's see. All right, I think we're about done with this one. Gotta wet it again because it's getting dry. Swap it to the blue. Wet it again. And we're gonna see. Do any of you guys have this and use it? Let me know in the comments what you guys think of it. Oh, this one's warm. You'd think the red would be warm, but this one is warm. I tried to go back on Timu when I ordered this, you know, on the description. Sometimes they have videos, but this one is no longer available. I did just order my sister one that's similar, so. Maybe one of these times I can get her on here and a couple of my sister-in-laws and we can do like a little spa day. My niece is really good about putting on makeup. Um, have her come on here too. I don't know if she will. She says she don't know if she'll want to be on here. But she can do makeup and she can do uh, put on false eyelashes, which is another thing I want to learn how to do. Um, so we can just have a maybe a girl's night and film it and have, have some fun. Okay, it's starting to get, or it's not gliding. Okay. Well, perfect. It smells good. Turn it off and it says to get um, sanitizer once you're done. And then you sanitize it uh, before use, after and before use. And so I'll probably do that. 
But yeah, if you guys have used this, let me know um, what you guys think. Um, I don't use it as much as I should be doing, but it's something that I want to do. I will be using it every Monday um, when I do the mask Mondays. Um, if you guys know any um, skincare, um, you know, let me know. I don't know. I want it's stuff I want to learn about. Um, definitely let me know um, any skincare um, techniques or skincare products that you guys use. Let me know. Um, makeup. Um, I've seen some people on Timu that find dupes that they like. Um, makes it more affordable to buy and to try and to film. So yeah, you guys let me know um, what you guys think um, or any um, makeup skincare stuff that you guys have. But anyway, thank you guys for joining me on my very first um, Mask Monday. I was excited to finally get to do this. Um, I kept telling my husband, okay, I want to get in there, I want to do it. I just want to get in there, I want to do it. Because if I start cooking dinner after I get home, then I just get busy. Dakota usually loves tons and tons of attention, but my husband's been outside playing um, with her. So um, I got to sneak in here. I want to do this really fast. This is the castor oil. And a little bit really does go a long way. So I just try and scrape as much. Look at, I don't know if you guys can see that. Look how much it just soaks in. Um, so I just put it on my eyelashes. And, uh. at the bottom but yeah I think I can see a difference at least in my eyelashes with these and the eyelashes I think I've been doing it the most and then I put it on my eyebrows okay then um Close that really good and then I take any of the excess and I put it on the lid of my eye and then I usually uh, will do this before I go to bed um, and I just will when I wash my face in the morning it will um, I'll wash it all off but we'll see how that goes and my friend told me about this. Uh, we've been watching a lot of uh, Barbara O'Neill stuff. Um, I never put it under my eye, but I don't think it's going to hurt. There's, uh, there's a lot on there. So, anyway, yeah, let me guys, let me know um, any um, skincare um, regimens. I think that's what I was trying to say earlier. Um, that you guys use or that you would recommend um, and I will I want to start trying to um, to do these and take better care of my can my skin all right guys um, now I'm gonna go cook some dinner but thank you guys for joining me tonight um, like I said I'm excited I got to do this my very first mass Monday but I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your evening and I will see you in a couple days when I get my order thanks bye